to Photoshop in 5. My name is Brittany and I am a professional cosmetic product photographer and retoucher and you may recognize me from my YouTube channel, Mainstream Multimedia. But in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys in less than 5 minutes how I correct bad reflections using generative AI in Adobe Photoshop. Let's dive in. So here we are at Adobe Photoshop and this image is completely edited except for the product lids. So if we zoom in here, we can see we have a lot more than just bad reflections going on. We have some dust and the lids aren't completely black all the way through, which I like to correct because I think it makes images look that much more high end. The coolest part about this is we only have to edit one lid and then we can place that perfect lid on the other three bottles, which saves you a lot of time. So let's zoom in here and the first thing I'm gonna do is go for the object selection tool select the lid and then I'm just going to hit command J which makes it a new layer so if I remove this layer underneath you can see we only have one thing isolated so when I zoom in I only want to be editing the lid so I'm going to remove the lip gloss using the pen tool I'm going to draw a line so I can get rid of all of this excess picture that I don't want to be working with and then right click make selection and then delete so now we have just this lid here. I would then select the spot healing brush tool and get rid of any big dust marks like this big piece of fur probably there, these dots here. And now we just have a lot of little miscellaneous speckles throughout this shot. So I'm gonna hit filter, noise, and dust and scratches. This is probably my favorite tool. You can adjust this slider to make it even more blurred, but as you see, it gets carried away way too quickly. So I usually like to keep this between one and three, but I think two is the sweet spot for this image. Now, the next order of operations is to change the lid to be all black. I don't like that some of the texture is bleeding onto the lid. I really want the product to be separated from the background. So I'm going to make my color all black, go into the color replacement tool, and now I'm just going to paint inside of my cap. Now. Here's where the fun begins. I'm gonna drop this layer back in and you can see the before and the after already looks pretty good. But I want this to be even more high-end and clean, which is why we're going to correct the bad reflections. So I'm gonna take the polygonal lasso tool and I'm gonna select this whole portion of the gloss that I don't like. I like to bring my selection a little further in than I need it to be, that way it has more information to read and play with. So all I'm gonna do is kind of draw a little box around this reflection here hit generate. So I asked Photoshop to generate this twice. That way I had some options to choose from. So you can see it did phenomenal throughout all of these, but I think that my favorite has got to be this one. So now that we have this part selected, I'm going to use the same process and edit the other reflections in this image. The best part about generative fill is that you can continuously layer over and improve your product images, just like I'm doing in this speed ramp here. And now I am completely happy with the way that these reflections look. Let's look at the before. Now let's look at the after. That is giving me creamy, soft, sophisticated, and high end. So all that's left to do is to once again, make sure that the entire lid is black. So I'm going to use the color replacement tool. I have black selected again, and I'm just gonna paint over this one more time because it did add some color back into our bottle here. Now we have the before, and the after. And we still have three more glosses. But like I said, we can just copy and paste this lid right over top, just like a glove. And now there's one more touch I wanna add to this. So I'm gonna label these layers so I know what is what. I'm gonna add a new layer because when I'm looking at this image, I feel like the lids look a little more matte than the actual glass bottle does. So this is my favorite trick. I like to go into the paintbrush tool, select the color white, make the paintbrush tool small, I like to draw a line right in the center of the reflection we already have existing. That way we can enhance that glow that it has to make it look more glass-like. And then filter, blur, Gaussian blur, just like that, because I feel that matches the lip gloss bottles a bit more. And then if you think the highlight is still a bit too punchy, you can simply drop the layer opacity. So that's before, and that's with the enhancement we just made. Now I'm gonna merge all of my layers together and there you go. In less than five minutes, that's how you fix bad reflections using generative AI in Photoshop. If you enjoyed this video, give it a giant thumbs up so Adobe knows what you want to see more of. And be sure to subscribe to the Photoshop channel for more quick tutorials. Bye!